Today I want to show you how I go about drawing fluffy feathers or fur, and because it's nearly Easter I thought it'd be fun to draw a chick. Before we get started let me run you through some of the materials I'll be using. So first off I'll be drawing this on Ingra paper and I have selected the darkest piece of paper within the set. I'm also using the Faber-Castell Pit Pastel pencils, I've got the set of 60. And finally I'll be using a blending tool like this one. As always, I've put links in the description for all of the materials I'll be using. Now I think it's going to be easy for me to show you the technique while I'm drawing the body, so I'm just going to speed through drawing the head. If you would like to follow the full tutorial, it is available on my Patreon as well as over 200 hours of other tutorials. Check out the link below. Now the first thing I always like to do whenever I'm drawing anything with pastel is put down some base layers. Now what I'm looking for here is mid-tone colours. I don't want to go straight in with either the lightest or the darkest colours. That said, the mid-tone colour for each area could well be different. So for example, on this chick, I'm starting off by putting down a base layer with quite a bright yellow. And the most important thing I'm doing here is making it as smooth as possible. So I want to be working in circular motions and I'd say using a medium pressure. My goal here is to get something down on the paper that I can then build upon. I don't worry about any of the feathery fur like texture at this point, I'll add all of that in a bit later. Once I put down my first section of mid-tone, I then want to move on to the next section and look for the next mid-tone colour I can see. So for example, on this chick, there was a quite dark grey obvious patch around here and then another little bit over here. And then I could see some pink within the feathers as well, so I put down a smooth even layer of the pink. I literally approach this one section at a time and I don't worry about how weird and patchy it looks. So from here I look for the next mid-tone colour and actually some areas of the chick's feathers are very very light. So I wanted to use my lightest yellow in my set and I'm able to cover a lot of the chick here. Once I've got down some colour on most of the chick I can start thinking about if there's any other colours I want to include in my base layer. So for example here there are a lot of light feathers on the chick's chest but in between those light feathers there's a quite light brown. So I did want to use light brown to start filling in roughly where those darker gaps are. And actually here I did start using some flicking motions but I'm not being too perfect about it, I'm just trying to get these dark patches in roughly the right place. I also use this colour again with the base layer to just fill in the area down the bottom, once again making that nice and smooth. I can then start thinking further about if there's any colours I'd like to add to this base. So for example down the bottom here, I'd actually say that what I want to make is a brighter red. So I'm just going to put a brighter red over the top of that brown. And I can see this same red in a few other places. And then I can move my way down through some darker colours. Again, adding in particularly where the darker gaps are between the light feathers. Now this looks very weird at this point, but that is fine. What I want to do now is blend this together. Now I like to use a blending tool. If you don't have one of these, then you could use a cotton bud. And what I'm trying to do is get the pastel pushed into the paper. At the moment it's kind of sat on top and I want to really get the pastel into the tooth of this paper. So I'm just again working in those circular motions, applying a medium to light pressure so that I end up with something that looks nice and smooth. It makes all of the colours a lot less vibrant and you can see some of the paper showing through but that's fine, that's what it's supposed to look like at this point. So by the end of this I have a very patchy weird looking base layer. So from here I want to start building up the texture of those feathers. And to do this I'm going to work through a lot of the same colours that I used for the base layer, but this time I'm not trying to put them down really smoothly, I'm working in flicking motions. Now the most important part of this is I'm looking at my reference and going in the direction of the feathers. They don't all go in one uniform direction, particularly towards the middle of the chick's chest they go in all sorts of random directions. And I'm just again going to work through this one colour at a time. So to start with I want to add quite a bright yellow and add that to the few patches that do look particularly bright. I can then move on to a pink and really brighten up the areas of feathers where I can see this pink tone. I can then add a little bit of interest and a little bit of depth by building up some of this grey. 
but whatever color I'm using, I'm always working in these same flicking motions and it's adding a number of layers of these flicking motions that ends up making this look like feathers. So generally speaking, I start towards a mid-tone and I gradually work my way towards the darker colors on the feathers. And then once I've got to the darkest color and I'm happy that I've got in all of those darkest parts, I can then start thinking about moving towards the lighter colors. This chick is very light on the most part in its feathers and I do think it's the light colors that really make it. So I start off by using the same light yellow that I used previously and I can just go over the top of what I've already built up again with these flicking motions. With pastel pencils, light colors go very nicely over dark colors. And that makes drawing things like feathers and like fur really nice and simple. So I'm just going over these darker colors, pressing, I would say with medium to firm pressure, but always with this flicking motion, gradually building up further all of this fur texture and feather texture. Whilst I'm doing this, I want to make sure that I go around the edges to give the feathers that fluffy look. At the moment, it's a very straight line around the edge. And in some areas, I need to build up way more of this yellow than in others. So for example, on the back of the chick's back. At the moment, there isn't a huge amount of pastel there, so I do need to build up a reasonable amount. Once I've gone through and put all of the yellow in, I can then move on to the white pencil. Now most of the time with my pastel pencils, I sharpen them using a knife. The only pencil that I don't do that with is the white pastel pencil. I do use a pencil sharpener to do this, just because it gives me so much of a sharper point and it means I can be way more accurate with it. And it is with the white that I add in all of my details. I don't want to sharpen all of my pastel pencils with the pencil sharpener because it'll just end up blunting the blade way too quickly. I can then work through again looking for the absolute lightest areas. But I can also see if there's any parts that I just want to brighten up, say for example some of the pink feathers should really be a lighter pink than what I've got at the moment but I can just go over them with this white and it will lighten up what's there. Once I've gone over the whole of the chick's body I once again want to blend this together. I'm still going to use the same tool as I used last time but rather than working in circular motions I want to flick the blending tool in the same direction as the feathers. I don't want to risk smudging everything that I've worked on building up. So I'd still say I'm using a medium pressure and I'm just flicking the tool against the paper going in the direction of these feathers. And by the time that this is done, the chick looks almost finished. What I then like to do is work on the drawing as a whole. So previously I worked on the head and then I drew the body. I'm now working on the head and body together, adjusting the colors in exactly the same way as I did before. So working through the colors, working out which colors I think are missing and building up all of these flicking motions before at the very end, I go back in with the light yellow and then the white. Now you can get in a lot of details with pastel, although I do sometimes feel like it's a little bit harder than using color pencils. That said, you can use pastels as a base and put something like polychromos over the top. If you'd like to learn more about this, check out my video here. As always, happy drawing guys. I'll see you in the next one.